Welcome back friends to Jones Edition. I have something a little different today, not something Jeep related. I'm gonna talk about my trailer, the kayak camping trailer walk around. Here we go. First off, I want to show you some pictures of the trailer build. Just a little bit of what it looked like before. Bought the trailer from a guy who hauled motorcycles. Got a pretty good deal on it. I believe I only paid $150, something like that. The trailer is all metal. Has a tilt function, which is awesome. You'll see that later. I built the box all out of wood and carpeted the wood. The trailer had some rust on the bottom, all surface rust, nothing went through the frame at all. I sanded the rust down and sprayed it with that reformer. I didn't actually have to do much to the trailer at all, which was really nice. I was able to focus a lot of my time and energy to the actual project of building the box for my kayak and for the gear. Underneath the trailer you can kind of tell where it tilts. It took a little bit of working it back and forth. WD-40, it kind of break loose. I don't think he used the tilt function on it, the previous owner. I kept the box pretty simple. I pretty much did the same on the top and bottom. Kind of framed it out, put a piece of plywood on top and bottom, built the walls to a certain height, I believe around like 16, 17 inches. I sealed all the wood with a Thompson water seal. If I had to do this project over again, the Thompson water seal might be the thing I would change. Not because I don't trust the product, but mainly because I've seen something a little bit better on other projects on YouTube where people use Rust-Oleum oil-based paint to seal the wood to, with two or three coats. I liked how it hardened um, because I used this on some of the door hatches and I really liked how it came out. I believe the Thompson Water Seal will be a great product, but I wish I'd done it a little bit different. The carpet was fairly inexpensive, did not cost me that much from Lowe's, used an adhesive. That went on pretty easy. Glued it and stapled it. The tires are highway rated speeds. Not had an issue at all with wobbling or anything. It keeps up just fine. Kind of a funny story, those tubes where I put the kayak on actually painted those with that old base paint and it was like a glue my kayak would not slide on it I had to put carpet on it kind of funny the inside here has changed a little bit since this picture I plan on upgrading those chains to a little bit a beefier chain Had a little bit issues with them bending there's that oil base paint I'm talking about I shouldn't have put it on those tubes but I did My kayak is a feel free lure, 11.5, 36 inches wide. I'll get into the whole kayak in another video. I really like those doors I put on each side of the trailer. Makes getting to the gear way easier when things get down in there kind of far. This right here is my PVC pipe boat ramp for launching and loading. It's one of the coolest things I've done on there. Definitely not my idea. I definitely stole that idea from someone else. I would definitely give them credit if I knew their name. But everyone at the boat ramp loves seeing that retract and deploy. 
it's pretty cool. It floats in the water, makes the boat go into the water very easy. It kind of it lines up the boat when it's coming back on. Great system. Just tie the rope to it. Pull it right back in. I don't have to go back in the water to get it. Keeps me dry. Makes it fast. Pretty cool design. I have a video at the end of this. I'll show you. This next picture is a solar panel kit that I bought from Harbor Freight. 100 watt total. Each panel is 25 watts. It can charge a dead battery from zero to full in about eight, nine hours. It's awesome. Up next, I'm going to go outside and show you the features I've since added on and show you the inside a little bit better. Here is my trailer in its current state. It's how it looks like on a daily basis when I take it fishing, camping. Up here is my winch. Um, this cable actually can run down the length of the trailer into where the kayak is in the water. And um, I have a wireless remote. It's actually in my pocket right here. Extend and retract. Um, I can stand at the end of the boat, at the end of the boat ramp, kind of helping the kayak into it using my remote. It's pretty nice. These panels right here. Or the solar panels I was talking about. Each panel is 25 watts. I use that to charge a battery that's inside and it used the battery is ran off this inverter and there's a battery stored inside here. I'll take a picture of that here in a second. But it actually feeds juice to my winch. It can use I can use this to power lights at a campsite there's my battery box right there um, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on in there it's all my camping gear that goes to my kayak there's another side of the trailer this rope right here is a part of my PVC pipe ramp that I showed you in the slideshow I'm gonna show you a whole video of that here in a second the other two panels these these are really cool i saw this on a youtube video for a jet ski trailer for actually jet skis um, these retract into themselves it's a lot less hassle than dealing with a whole ratchet set at the boat ramp anything to save time at the boat ramp is what i was looking for i added these two sets of lights to the back of the trailer actually the guys at work really helped me a lot but the reason why I added those lights if you're directly behind the trailer it's hard to see the two brake lights I know cars are gonna be a little further back but if you're off to the side just a little bit I want to make sure you can actually see the brake lights actually has a turn signal and brake integrated in those two things. That was really cool. Show you the back hatch. As of right now, I'm about halfway done with this project and here in the middle. So what I what I envision is having the five rod holders on this side and five rod holders on this side. I have more PVC pipe, I just haven't finished it. I'm gonna actually mount a two by four here, kind of like a vertical support, like I have done on the other two sides here, one, two. So another one here, attach the pole holder on this side. I have another pole holder that's gonna go on the other side and all these poles can actually rest vertically. So all those poles are gonna go here eventually my plan is to have some type of drawer system that can pull out that I can put my gear on and actually pull out and same over here I actually want to build some type of pull out drawer system that can fold up and actually I can cook on it at a campsite my son loves playing his cars on this tailgate at a campsite it's like the perfect height for him 
let me uh, close all the stuff real quick and I'll show you how the trailer works. As you can tell, it's still some work getting the boat on and off the trailer for the at the boat ramp. It solved a lot of my issues because the kayak is so big and so heavy. It's a very stable kayak. There's better options out there. I'm not saying this is the, the best option at all. For me, it works because I wanted something. I don't have a lot of space. I'm going to show you my, my garage space right now. I don't have a lot of space for multiple trailers. I would love to say camping trailer only a kayak fishing trailer only i had to combine a lot of those problems in the one in one trailer so it's pretty it's pretty neat for me i still have a lot of things i want to do to it i want to add some type of water storage to it i want to add maybe a, a, a rack for the roof rack i love to put a rooftop tent on it eventually down the road Stuff like that. It's going to be a lot of fun. I want to add some spots on it. Maybe I can add a couple other kayaks, small kayaks too, if I have friends that have kayaks. So, yeah, let me show you the, my, tr my garage situation right now and tell you what I have in store for it later. Real quick, this is my garage situation. It is a mess. It's like a catch-all. This is my side of the garage. All the camping stuff kind of gets put over here when it's not in the trailer, when I'm organizing it. I have to push it outside when I want to work out, push it back in when I'm done, move all this stuff over, move my wife's car out. I'm getting a new garage soon for this thing. It's going in the backyard. I'm going to be able to open up this gate on the side of my house, drive back there, hook up the trailer, and go straight to fishing, straight to camping. I can leave it set up out there only when I'm going to use it. It's going to be really, really nice to have that. I'm finally going to be able to park my Jeep in the garage where it belongs to keep it out of the weather so i'm excited about that that's coming up in about a week and a half two weeks when i get that garage this thing has to go for the garage to go in they need to open up this gate on the side of my house and that fence has to be removed the shed's going back there it's 10 by 16 they need a place to pull in I'm going to try to get some friends over here, and we're going to try to remove this small tree ourselves without killing ourselves. So, a lot in store for the trailer, the garage situation. And by the way, just to let you know, the sprayer, it works. It was the hose. No big deal. It sprays like normal. Fixed. Not a fail anymore.